Hi everyone, this is Norma with All My Crochet, and I just wanted to say that I am back, at least for right now. We'll see about how things go um, later. Um, I will explain to you why I was gone for a while and what's been going on, but I will do that at the end of the video. I don't want to get all that out in the beginning because I know you guys are anxious for this tutorial. So we're going to get right into the tutorial and I'll explain things later if you um, care to uh, listen to that at the end of the video. So this is the panty that we're going to make. Okay, this is the front. Actually, yeah, the front and then this back. So this is what you have here. And I made them in different color, uh, this color as well. So you can obviously make it in whatever color that you want. So this is going to be a very easy pattern. This is done in one piece and it's all done with single crochets. So as long as you know how to do a single crochet, you'll be able to make this pattern. Again, it's all done in one piece. So let me show you the materials that we're using. I am using, I love this yarn. It's a sports weight and it is a size number three light. We're also using a crochet hook size three and a half. You're going to need four stitch markers and of course scissors and a darning needle to sew in your ends. So let's get right into it. So to start off with, we're going to do a slip knot. Now you can do the slip knot any way that you want. I'm going to show you how I do it. So I put the yarn like this and then I put it through this finger here and I have a little loop on top. I put my crochet hook in and I give it a twist. Then I grab this yarn with my fingers, yarn over and pull through and pull. And that gives you a slip knot. So now we're going to do a chain of six. So to, the to do the chain, you're going to yarn over and pull through the loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. That's two, three, four, five, and six. We got a chain of six. So the first part we're going to be working on is the waistband right here. This is what we're going to be doing right now. Okay, so now we're going to do some single crochets and we're going to do single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So that means you're skipping your first one going into the second one and we're going to insert the hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. You have two on your hook, yarn over and pull through both loops. And you're going to do that to all the chains. And at the end, you should have a total of five single crochets. Again, insert the hook, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through both loops. And we have five single crochets for row number one. We're going to do a chain one, turn our work. Now, in this first stitch, we're going to do a normal single crochet through both loops, just a regular single crochet. In the next three stitches, we're going to do a single crochet in the back loops. So let me just show you. So here you have your front loop, the one that's closest to you. And then the one back here is your back loop. So this is where we're going to be doing the single crochet in these three stitches is in the back loop only for the three stitches. Then this last one, it'll be a normal one as, uh, you know, the first and last will always be normal. The three in between will be in back loops. So now we're going to go into the back loop here. Okay. Yarn over, pull up a loop and do a single crochet. Again, in the next stitch, back loop, single crochet. Next stitch, back loop, single crochet. And then in this last one, we're going to go through both loops as normal and do a regular single crochet. So we have round two. Yarn over, chain one, turn your work. And again, in that first one, a normal single crochet. In the next three stitches, we're gonna do a single crochet in the back loops. And that's the third one there. And then the last one is a normal single crochet. Chain one, and we're gonna repeat this again. First one is a normal single crochet. Then in the next three stitches in the back loops, we're going to do a single crochet. There we go. And then the last one, normal single crochet. So we're going to do this 
for 50 rounds. I know it seems like a lot, but it's only five stitches. It will work up pretty quick. And this is what we're working is this band right here. And when you do those three stitches in the back loop, it kind of gives it that nice little ridge there, which will help stretch it when you're putting it on the dowel. So we're going to do this for 50 rows. So you can use a row counter, you can use a piece of paper to note down, or you just can count your stitches. That's totally up to you, however you want to do it. And I will meet you here when we have 50 rows. And there should be five stitches throughout. Okay, so again, regular single crochet. Next three stitches, single crochet in the back loop. One two and three and then the last one is a normal single crochet and again you have five stitches and i will meet you here when we have 50 rows so here i have my 50 rows you can see you can see the little ridges there from doing the back loops in the uh three chains there and now what we're going to do is we're going to close the band okay so i'm going to take this i have my crochet hook and working yarn right here and make sure this is not tangled up okay and you have your back piece here so we're going to go into the first stitch right here and we're going to slip stitch pull through that and pull through the other one and that didn't work out good so let me try that again sometimes these fibers don't want to cooperate so let's try this again okay so i have it like this okay make sure this is not tangled up and make sure this yarn is over here and we're going to slip stitch try to again okay so I'll yarn over pull through the back one and then pull through that chain and i still can't get it <laughs> that's what happens sometimes okay let's try this again Okay, so I have my loop here, and this has to be over here, and let's try it again. Hopefully the third time works. Okay, and then pull through that loop. There we go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet. We're going to do a chain of one, and then you're going to go back into that first chain there, and into the... We're going into the first one on this side and then in the back part of the band and you're going to yarn over and pull through all of them and then do a single crochet okay so we're going to do this now again we have five stitches here so we should be doing this five times okay so it's a single crochet right there so again i'm going through the first part of the band then going through the second part of the band yarning over and pulling through all of them and doing a single crochet. That was three. Again, going through both of them. That's four. And again, this is the last one here. Going through both of them and that's five. Okay, so that closes the band up. Okay, so now what we're going to do is flip this over like that. Okay. This part you can tuck in later, you can tuck it in now, I'll wait till later. Okay, so this is what we have right here. This is the waistband. So now we're going to do a chain of one, and we're going to do a single crochet along the whole band here. Now remember, we did 50 rows, so we're going to do a single crochet around all the way around, and we're going to try to keep the same amount, 50 single crochets. So we did our chain one. And then I'm just going to pick a space right here, that first open space, and I'm going to do a single crochet. Now it's up to you if you want to put a stitch marker at this point, just so that you know where your first stitch is at. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and put my stitch marker in there. And then we're going to go ahead and continue to do single crochets around the whole band. Okay, so that's one just going to go into another space here two there's not really um, a proper place to put this that's three but as you see there's a little hole right here so I'm doing a single crochet there here's my next one so I'm doing a single crochet there here's my next one so I'm doing a single crochet there 
So we're going to do that, and then when you get closer to the end, count your stitches so you can see where you're going to end up with your 50. So this is what we're going to do throughout. We're just going to do single crochets. So I'm going to go ahead and finish these, and when I get close to the end, I'll come back to show you. So again, just going to go into a stitch there or into a row and do a single crochet. Insert yarn over, pull up the loop, pull through. So I will meet you when I get to the end. So I'm at the end here and I have 49 stitches and I just have one more to do. So you want to definitely make sure that you count your stitches and that you have 50. So that was my last one. So I'm going to take the stitch marker out and I'm going to slip stitch to close. I'm just going to go into that first stitch right there and we're going to close with the slip stitch. Now this was I'm counting this as a new, the band I'm not counting. Obviously, we did 50 rows for the band. Now, moving forward, I'm counting this row we just did as row number one for the panty. So now we're going to be working along this way of the panty, okay? So we just completed row number one, and we're going to do a total of five rows. So we need four more rows of single crochets, so we have a total of five. Again, we just completed row number one. So we're, again, we're going to do a chain one. And in that same stitch where we did the slip stitch, our first single crochet, we're going to do that. And again, if you need the stitch marker, go ahead and put it right back in and crochet all the way around a single crochet. And you should have a total of 50 single crochets at the end. And we're going to do this for another four rows. So we have a total of five, including the row we just did. So we need a total of five rows of single crochets. And when you get to the end, you're going to slip stitch and then do the chain one and start your next row. And we're going to have a total of five rows. So I'm going to continue to do this and I will see you when we reach our five rows of single crochets so that we can move on. So again, we're working on row number two, and we need a total of five rows of single crochets. So I will see you soon. So here I finished the five rows of single crochets. This is where we started right here, where the stitch marker is at. And you can count these rows here. Now, again, this is the band. This row right here was our first row. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to place some of these stitch markers. Okay, so we have one right here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to count. And we're going to count starting with this first one. We're going to count 20. So this one is counting as one. Okay, so we're going to count 20 and then we're going to put a stitch marker. So the one with the stitch marker is counted as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So right here, we're going to put a stitch marker on that 20th stitch right there. Okay? So we have two stitch markers. So now we're going to count six. This one is counting as one again. One, two, three, four, five, six. So right here in this next one, we're going to put another stitch marker. Okay? Now we're going to count 22 and put another stitch marker. So again, this one is counting as one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, twenty-two. So right here, we're going to put another stitch marker. Okay, so from this one to this one, there should be six stitches, one, two, three, four, five, and then six. Same like on this side. So we have a total of 20. Okay, let me just put it this way. From this first one where we were using the stitch marker, from here to here we have 20. Okay, and then we have here to here from this stitch marker to this stitch marker is six. Then from this stitch marker to this stitch marker, it's 22. Then from this stitch marker to this stitch marker, it is 6. So right here where these 20 are, it's going to be the front of the panty. These 22 are going to be the back of the panty. And then this is going to be the side of the panty. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to work only at this moment 
from this stitch marker to this stitch marker and that's it in these 20 stitches that's what we're going to focus on right now okay so we're starting row number six okay and we're going to do row number six seven and eight a single crochet for three more rows so again we're going to start num uh, row number five row number uh, i'm sorry we have five we're going to start row number six row number seven and row number eight are all going to be single crochets and there's going to be 20 single crochets okay so we're going to start here so you can take the stitch marker out to start your row okay chain one and then in that same stitch you're going to do a single crochet if you want to put your stitch marker back in you're more than welcome to that's up to you okay and then we're just going to work a single crochet all the way up to this stitch right here and this is again is row number six so that's all we're doing is a single crochet to that uh, next stitch marker now these videos that I do are assuming that you know how to crochet. I'm not really giving instructions on how to do um, the stitches. I mean, I did in the beginning just very briefly, but it's not like detailed. It's not, you know, um, you know, in depth or anything. So this is assuming you know how to uh, crochet. And again, these this is just a single crochet and it's the most simplest stitch so it should be fairly easy so now we're here at the last one so i'm going to take my stitch marker out and put my single crochet here okay so we finished row six now we're going to do row seven again we're going to do a chain one turn our work and do a single crochet in that first one put your stitch marker back in okay the stitch marker definitely helps those who are beginners just so you can find your stitch so you know i think it's important to use so again row uh number seven is going to be a single crochet row so this is all we're going to do for row seven and then we're going to do row eight the same thing so we're going to single crochet all the way to here and then we're going to take out our stitch marker, do our last single crochet, do a chain one, and then start row number eight. So I'm going to continue to do that, and I will meet you here when I'm done with row number eight. Again, right now we're doing row number seven. Then we have to do one more row, row number eight, of single crochets. So I will meet you here at the end of row number eight. So I have eight rows now. Again, if you want to start counting, you would start counting from here one two three four five six seven and eight sorry my fingers a little orange um cooking and trying to do this tutorial at the same time and it's a seasoning that i use called um uh what is it called again i just lost it it's like this um it's called uh sason sorry it's a puerto rican seasoning and i don't know some of it must have got on my hands i tried washing it but it's a little tough anyway so we have eight rows here we have three rows of the 20 single crochets okay so now we're going to start row uh number nine <clears throat> so row number nine let me take this stitch marker out row number nine we're going to do a little decreasing okay on each end so we're going to do a chain one to start off with the first stitch is going to be a single crochet right here First stitch is a single crochet so we're going to put that stitch marker right back in okay now the next stitch is going to be a decrease so to do the decrease what you're going to do is you're going to insert the hook into the first stitch yarn over pull up the loop go into the second stitch yarn over and pull up the loop and you have three on your hook you're going to yarn over and pull through all three so that was a decrease okay so the first one was a single crochet then the next uh stitch was a decrease okay of two stitches there so now what we're going to do is we're going to do 14 single crochets and we should have three stitches left at the end so we have one two three four five six seven 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Okay, so we have three stitches left. So now the next stitch is going to be a decrease. So again, you're going to insert the hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, go into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, so then in the last stitch, we're going to do just a regular single crochet. Okay, so for row number nine, you should have a total of 18 stitches now. We had 20. We did the two decreases, so now we have 18 stitches. So this is basically what we're going to follow along until we have a total of eight stitches. Okay, so now row number 10, we're going to do a chain one, turn our work, and in that first stitch, we're going to do a regular single crochet. Okay, put your stitch marker back in. And in the next two stitches, we're going to do a decrease. So we're going to insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three. Now we're going to do 12 single crochet. In the previous row, we did uh, 14. Now we're going to do 12 single crochets. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So again, we have three stitches left. The next two stitches is going to be a decrease. So insert the hook, yarn over, go into the next stitch, insert the hook, yarn over, pull up the loops, you have three on your hook and pull through. So then the last stitch will be a single crochet here. Okay, so for this row number 10, you should have a total of 16 stitches right here. So now we're gonna start row number 11. So again, we're gonna do a chain one in the first single crochet or in the first stitch, we're gonna do a single crochet put that stitch marker back in here and then the next one next two stitches is going to be a decrease so this is the pattern again we're going to follow so insert into the stitch yarn over pull up a loop go into the next stitch yarn over pull up the loop yarn over and pull through all three and that's your decrease now we're going to do a total of 10 single crochet it was 14 12 now it's 10 so we're going to do 10 single crochets one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So then the next two stitches is going to have the decrease. So insert the hook, yarn over, pull up the loop, go to the next one, insert, yarn over, pull up the loop, yarn over, and pull through all three. So then the last one is going to have a regular single crochet. All right there. So at the end of this row, which is row number 11, you should have a total of 14 stitches. So now we're going to start row number 12, and we're going to start with the chain one turn our work in that first stitch it's going to be a single crochet put our stitch marker back in okay and then we are going to do the decrease so in the next two stitches we're going to do a decrease insert the hook yarn over pull up a loop insert the hook in the stitch yarn over pull up the loop you have three yarn over and pull through all three now we're going to do eight single crochets across here so we have one two three four five six seven and eight 
Then in the next two stitches, we're going to do our decrease. And then we're going to do a regular single crochet in that last one. So this was row 12. So row 12, we should have 12 single crochets. So now we're going to start row number 13. Chain one, turn our work, single crochet in that first stitch, put your stitch marker back in. So now we're going to do our decrease in the next two stitches. Now we're going to do six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is row number 13. Then we're going to do a decrease in the next two stitches. And then in the last stitch, we're going to do our regular single crochet. So for row number 13, we should have a total of 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now we're going to do row number 14. So we're going to do a chain of one. That first stitch, we're going to do a single crochet, put our stitch marker back in. And then in the next stitch, we're going to do a decrease. And then in the next two stitches is the decrease. Then we're going to do four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. And this is row number 14. And then we're going to do a decrease in the next two stitches. And then in the last one, a regular single crochet. So for the end of row 14, you should have a total of eight single crochets. So this is what the panty is looking like, okay? And as you see, okay? So now for row number, so this was 14, so for row number 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19, we're going to do a single crochet, eight single crochets, all the way up to row 19. So again, chain one, turn your work, and this is just going to be a row of single crochets. So if you need that stitch marker, go ahead and put that back in. And then there's no more decreasing. It's just going to be regular single crochets. So single crochet, single crochet, all the way across. And you should have eight single crochets and this is row number 15 and in that last one single crochet okay so that was row number 15 so again we're gonna do this until we have uh, until we hit row number 19 okay so I'm gonna go ahead and continue doing this and when we get to at the end of row number 19 I'll come back so we can continue um, with the pattern. So again, all the way up to row number 19, we're going to do eight single crochets across and it's just that simple. So this is the last one here. So I'm going to go ahead and continue and I will meet you here at the end of row number 19. And this is what it's looking like right now. And I will see you soon. So here we are at the end of row 19, and again, we still have eight stitches. So this is what it's looking like. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start increasing, okay? So we're going to do a single crochet like we did, and then in the next stitch, we're going to do an increase, do some single crochets, and increase, and then kind of the same thing. Instead of the decrease here, now we're going to be doing the increase. So now we're going to do that until we increase um until we have 22 stitches because then we're gonna have to uh put that together here these are the the stitch markers that have our 22 stitches so once we're done we're going to slip stitch and close this panty up so let's start the next row we're going to start row number 20. so i'm going to take this stitch marker out and i'm going to do my 
chain one and in that first single crochet or that first yeah single crochet we're going to do a single crochet in that first stitch put that stitch marker back in if you need it so now the next stitch we're going to do an increase so what that means is in the next stitch we're going to put two single crochets into that stitch okay so the next stitch we're going to do one single crochet two single crochets into the same stitch so we have two in the same stitch now we're going to do um, four single crochets one two three and four now in the next stitch we're going to do the increase so we're going to do two single crochets into that same stitch and the last one it's just a regular single crochet right there. so for row number 20 now we have a total of 10 stitches one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so now we're going to start row 21 we're going to do a chain one in that first stitch we're going to do a single crochet so again if you need your stitch marker go ahead and put that back in and then we're going to do a total of um in the next stitch we're going to do the increase so right here in the next stitch we're going to do two single crochets into the same stitch okay now we're going to do six single crochets one two three four five and six now in the next stitch we're going to do the increase again so two single crochets into the same stitch and then in the last one regular single crochet okay so now we should have a total of 12 stitches. So let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And that's row 21. So now we're going to start row 22. And we're going to start off with a chain 1. Turn our work in that first stitch. It's going to be a regular single crochet. So go ahead and put that stitch marker back in. And then in the next stitch, we're going to do an increase. one two single crochets on the same stitch now we're going to do eight single crochets one two three four five six seven and eight so now in the next stitch we're going to do an increase one two in the same stitch next stitch is going to be a regular single crochet okay so that's row number 22 you should have 14 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so we're going to start row 23 and we're going to do a chain one turn our work in that first one single crochet so again the next stitch is going to be another increase so we're going to do two single crochets into the same stitch now we're going to do 10 single crochets. One, two, I think she's crying. Three, <clears throat> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we're going to do an increase. One and two. And then in the last stitch, it's a regular single crochet. And at this point, you should have a total of 16 single crochets at the end of row 23. 
So now we're going to start row 24. We're going to do our chain one, turn our work. The first stitch is a single crochet. Put our stitch marker back in. The next stitch is going to be an increase. So we're going to do two single crochets into the same stitch. Then we're going to do 12 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So then the next stitch will get the increase one and two and then, and then in the last one it's just a regular single crochet so for row number 24 you should have a total of 18 single crochets for row number 24 so let's move on to row number 25 do our chain one turn our work that first stitch gets a single crochet And in the next stitch, we're going to do another increase. So it'll be two single crochets into the same stitch. One, two. Now we're going to do 14 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Now in the next stitch, we're going to do an increase. One, two in the same stitch and then, then the last one regular single crochet okay so this is what we have so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty we have twenty stitches for row number twenty five Okay, so now row number 26, chain one. In the first stitch, again, single crochet. Put your stitch marker back in. And in the next stitch, we are going to do an increase. Two single crochets in the same stitch. And now we're going to do 16 single crochets. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. So the next stitch will be the increase. One, two in the same stitch. And then the last one is a single crochet. Okay, so this is row number 26. And at the end of row 26, you have a total of 22 stitches, which is what we need. Because remember from this stitch marker to this stitch marker, it's 22 stitches okay so that's what we have so now we are going to do three more rows 26 up to we up to 29 20 uh so this is 26 we're gonna do 27 28 and 29 single crochets and again it's 22 stitches okay so we're gonna start row number 27 chain one and this one is just gonna be a single crochet all the way across no more increases so for row number 27 28 and 29 that's what we're gonna do single crochets 
and again you'll have 22 stitches for all three rows so I'm going to continue to do this and I will see you here when I have three rows of single crochets with 20 stitches and it should end at row number 29 so I'm going to go ahead and finish that up so here I've ended row number 29 and this is what it's looking like. So now we're still going to do a something else to the sides because I want this to be a little bit more finished. Um, but basically when we're done, you have 22 stitches up here, okay, between these stitch markers and you have 22 stitches between these stitch markers. So all you're going to do then at the end is slip stitch or close this however you want to do it and you have your panty. So you have your front and you have your back once you close it up okay but I like to give this a little finished look if you see here you know just right here we're gonna just do single crochets along the side here so we're gonna go along this side and do single crochets then we're gonna do single crochets here along the band here and then single crochets all the way to the end over here now there's not really a set number of single crochets I kind of just go in where um, I see like a little space or hole or something so I'm gonna leave that stitch marker right there because I don't really need to move it for anything because we're gonna crochet um, along this side right here okay so again we're just gonna do single crochet so I'm just gonna go into this first one right here let me try to see if I can get this camera a little closer okay so right here just like a little hole right there and where that last stitch was that and I'm just gonna do a single crochet there again I'm not really um, counting how many and I'm just kind of putting them um, wherever I see like a little opening okay so we're just gonna do this all the way around just so that it gives it a nice little finish along the sides of the panty So I'm going to go ahead and do that, okay? Then when I get to the stitch marker, I'm going to take it out and then replace it in the same spot, but I'll do that on camera. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish this and then go around here um, just to show you. Well, I don't know if I should just pause it or maybe just continue. I'll just continue. I just hope that that's okay with you guys because I really didn't want this video to be so long, but it probably will turn out to be long. But again, I like to do step by step with you so you're seeing me do it and um, hopefully that makes it easy for you guys so we're almost here so again wherever I see a little opening I'm just kind of putting a stitch in there right here okay so now we're along the side here where the band is at so again, we're just going to do a single crochet in these uh, single crochet here where the band is, the waistband, or I shouldn't say the waistband, where we did the five rows of the single crochet, but this is the back. So single crochet, so I'm taking, I'm at the stitch marker, I'm going to take the stitch marker out, sorry, I don't know if I was off camera there or not, but it's just a single crochet right there. And then I'm putting this stitch marker back in because this is marking where my stitches are. Okay, so we're going to continue all the way around, all the way around this way. When I get to this one, I'm going to take the stitch marker out and replace it, then keep going around. And then I'm going to go along the sides here, okay, along the panty. And then once I get to the end here, I'm going to stop right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and then I'll be back when we're at the end over here. Okay, you're going to stop right there at, at this stitch marker. You're going to stop right there. So just single crochet along the sides, along here, along here, and then stop right there. And I'll meet you back when we get to that point. So I'm here close to the end and I'm just doing a couple more stitches of single crochets. And then right here where that stitch marker is at, all I'm going to do is go to that stitch right there with a stitch marker and do a slip stitch. Okay, so now we're done with the panty. Okay. 
So this is what the panty is looking like after we did the sides. As you see, it gives it a nice finishing touch along the sides here by doing the single crochets around. Okay, so now again, we have 22 stitches here and 22 stitches and we're going to then close it up here and we're done with our panty. Um, so what I like to do is just give myself enough yarn. Um, so normally what I do is I kind of just measure it by the panty like this. I might go like three or four times and then just cut it. Okay, then I'm just going to pull, pull all the yarn through. I'm going to put this on my... Um, little needle right here okay so that we can sew this up so you can close this any way that you want I can show you how I like doing it but you can close this any way that you want so basically you're gonna match stitch marker to stitch marker okay so I'm gonna flip this around because this is the front of the this is the panty the front of the panty so this is the front and this is the back so again this is where we started that's where we slip stitch the band together. So I'm going to flip this around, okay? So I have the back of the pan, the inside of the panty, like this, so that we can close this up. And I lost my needle there, okay? So let me put this back on. And I'll show you how I like to do it. You can do it, like I said, any way that you want to slip stitch to, uh, this together. That's totally up to you. Okay. So. We have this one and this one. Okay, so the yarn is attached to this side. So all I'm going to do now at the moment is just go to this one where the stitch marker is at and insert my crochet right here. My, my darning needle into that stitch where the stitch marker is at. Okay, and I'm gonna pull through. Okay. Now I'm gonna give it a few stitches right here only because, again, this is the side of the panty. So I'm going back into that place where um, the stitch marker is at right here. And then going back into the same spot where the stitch marker is at. So I'm going to do this a couple of times just to make sure that it's secure here on the sides. Okay. I'm going to do that again. You can take out the stitch markers at this point if you want. That's totally up to you. So I'm just going to remove it just to make it easier for me to do this. Since this part is already connected here. Okay, so I'm pulling through and I'm going to do it one more time. So I'm going through that first one and then going through the back part of the panty and just slip stitching again. Okay, I'm pulling that through. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. Now I like to have this a little bit more finished. So what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to actually go around this way and I'm going to go along the side right here just anywhere right here on the side and then I'm going to do a stitch right next to the one I just did just to kind of give it a little more finished look for it to uh, so it won't be so open and and it's hard to explain but I'm just going to do it over in the next stitch just to close it to make sure it's nice and secure right there okay so we'll see that's what it's looking like so you can do this as many times as you want okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on okay so I'm gonna close these up like this okay now again you can do this any way that you want the way I like to do it is you have your front loop and your back loop let me see I don't know if I can get close I tried using a black background so you could see because this is white yarn but I think it's still a little hard to see okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm taking you have your front loop and your back loop so right here you have a front loop and a back loop I'm taking um, I'm going to the back of the panty this is the front okay so I'm going from the front loop to the to the front loop here so the front loop from this back panel to the front loop to this one and I'm taking my my needle and putting it through like that so I'm gonna do that throughout 
okay so again I'm gonna go from this front loop to this front loop right here and putting it through okay so next one front loop and then this front loop right here and putting it through so I'm going to do that all the way across and I will see you at the end. So here I'm at the end and I closed this up. I did all my stitches and now I'm going to see it's a little gap right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue to close this little gap right here. So I'm just taking this going into the kind of the next stitch over and then the stitch right here on the side of the panty. And just going to close that up just so we have a nice and do that a couple of times right here so that's it so that's that side and then this is this side okay so then you're going to obviously tuck your ends in, but this is backwards because this is where we uh, started the band there. So I'm going to flip it around and here is your panty. Look how cute that is. So this is the front and then this is the back right here. This is where we seamed it up here in the back. Okay. And you want to tuck your ends in i'm going to tuck my ends in then i'm going to come back and i'm going to put it on the doll so that you can see how it fits so here's my panty everything's all tucked in and i did want to measure it because sometimes i do get people who ask um about how how it measures um and the only reason um, i'm going to do that too is because i know everybody's tension is different so my tension is going to be different from yours so you know it all depends now um, if you crochet tight, you know, maybe you can add a row less when we're doing the, you know, the five here or the eight down here. You can do a row less, a row more, depending on how your tension is. So this is where you would want to do it. When we did, after we did the band, we did five single crochets, five rows of single crochets. So either you're going to add a row there or decrease a row depending on your tension and how you do it. Same thing here where the panty is, where we have eight single crochets on the bottom. You can either add a row or decrease a row depending on your tension because everybody's tension is different. You know, this came out perfect for my tension. So that's why I want to, you know, make it clear that you know, I know sometimes people do the video and say it didn't fit or something happened. It's because of the tension. You can always switch to a smaller or bigger crochet hook as well. It all depends. But anyway, I'm going to give you a little measurement of how it measures so that you could see. So this is about four and a half inches from this band to this band. But again, this is going to stretch when it goes over the dowel. Okay. And from the top to the bottom, it's about three and three quarters. Okay. So that's how, you know, what the measurement is on this. Um, so let's get it on the dowel. So I have my dowel right here. Okay. So again, this is the back and this is the front. So let's put it on. Again, this is going to stretch because um, this is acrylic yarn. So the acrylic yarn will stretch. So I'm just going to put it on. It is going to be a tight fitting panty, which I like because as you know, when you have yarn and you um, use it, it tends to stretch a lot. It may get loose, but here we go. That's why I like it to be a nice tight fitting. You can fix this and adjust it. So you have your back here and that's how it fits on the waistband in the back. That's how it looks. Let's turn her over and this is the front. So look how perfect that fits. So it's right here, the waistband, the sides, and then the back. Okay. And the side. And I think it fits perfect. It fits good with, this is actually a dress from 
one of the American Girl dolls. My granddaughter um, had several American Girl dolls and they got the same dress, so they gave me one. So as you see, it's fitting perfect with this dress. And there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I hope it was easy. Again, it was one piece. Sorry that it took me so long to make this tutorial. Um, not to make it, but to actually, you know, record it. Again, there was a lot of issues. I know I was gone for a long time. Hopefully, um, I can do another video soon, uh, another dress or something like that. Um, the reason that I was out is because uh, a lot of family issues. I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit of something, you know, some things about myself. I don't know if I've mentioned this in other videos, but um, I am married. I've been married now for about 37 years. My husband and I got married a very long time ago. We do have two kids, grown kids, and um, I have a daughter and a son. My daughter has five kids, grandkids. I have five grandkids. They range in age right now. I think they are five, ages five to um, 20 or 19. I'm sorry. She'll be 20 soon. Um, and I have five grandkids. And my husband recently was diagnosed with uh, prostate cancer. So that's really the main reason why I haven't been doing any videos. been focusing on trying to get things with him uh, done, surgery, seeing doctors. You know, we had to go from one doctor to another doctor, see this specialist, see that specialist. And, you know, between these appointments, they, they set up, it's a month between every appointment. Um, he had to get surgery. Um, that's what he opted with was surgery. So it was a recovery process for that. He is back to normal right now, but cancer did come back. Um, it's in his pelvic area now. He was hoping with the surgery um, that it would go away completely, but one of the lymph nodes was uh, showed that it had some cancer in it, which spread to the pelvic area. So now he's got, I think, um, three on one side, three lymph nodes on one side, and two on the other side in the pelvic area that are infected. And so he is going to start uh, radiation soon. Right now he's, you know, again, seeing other doctors for the radiation. He's starting a hormone therapy. And then in March, I believe, he's going to start radiation. So there might be a little bit of time there where I'm away. I'm going to try not to be. I'm going to try to do what I can. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys a little heads up. Um, prostate cancer is nothing to laugh about it's very serious a lot of men die from that because there is no symptoms he had no symptoms um the only reason he knew he had it was because he had his yearly physical his work requires him to do a yearly physical and through that he found out that the prostate was abnormal he had no symptoms and um when they tested um the prostate um after they removed it it did show that it was more aggressive than what they thought. And, um, and believe me, a lot of time didn't pass. He did his physical the year before he did it this year and they found it. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's a serious disease. And, you know, um, I suggest your husband, your father, whoever, make sure they get that physical done and have that prostate examined because, if you catch it in time, then obviously, you know, there's time to do stuff about it. But anyway, that's really the main reason why I've been out. It's just trying to focus on on him and trying to get everything that we needed uh, going with that. So, um, hopefully everything works out and he's going to start his radiation soon and we're hopeful, the doctors are hopeful that um, we'll get it with the radiation. So anyway, I want to thank all you guys for all your comments. I know I've seen all the comments about where I'm at, how come I haven't done any videos, hope that I'm okay, you know, I am fine, you know, um, it's just dealing with that. And again, I do have five grandkids and I did start working part-time 
which um, part time for me <laughs> is I work three days a week, eight hours. So um, it's just an adjustment for me, you know, working, dealing with his cancer, you know, just things that I got to do around the house and, you know, everything going on has just been hectic. So that's why I haven't been doing as many videos. Hopefully I can focus on doing some more. We'll see. But I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on. So that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please take care and let me know what you think of this uh, panty tutorial. Thank you and have a great day.